The Israeli governments portray themselves as peace-loving upholders of high moral principles. And yet, they have claimed to be the protectors of human rights. And yet, they proclaim that they are the only democratic country in the Middle East. And yet, they humbly depict themselves as a small existentially threatened country surrounded by bloodthirsty killers who want to eradicate her from existence. And yet, they declared war on Hamas as a terrorist organization. And yet, they profess that they want to be friends with Saudi Arabia. And yet, all Israeli governments are the last of the Western colonizing powers of the Middle East. From the time of the Balfour Declaration, they have forcibly evicted the inhabitants of Palestine after the 1948 war, as attested to by Israeli historians. They burned the villages of the Palestinians to the ground. They repeated that calumny after the 1967 war when more of the inhabitants of what remained after the 1948 war were equally dispossessed of their lands. Despite several UN Security Council resolutions rejecting the acquisition of territory by force of arms, all Israeli governments paid no heed to them. They continued to colonize more territory of the lands they occupied in 1967 against the Geneva Conventions that prohibit the change of the status of occupied territories. While doing that, they built a wall, the apartheid wall, to prevent the inhabitants of the land they colonized from returning to their stolen properties. The International Court of Justice issued a ruling that the wall is illegal. They ignored that ruling. And yet, Israeli governments have arrested thousands of the inhabitants of the lands they are colonizing and incarcerated them in concentration camps under the flimsiest of security accusations, young and old, women and men, who are rotting there without recourse to justice. They are demolishing homes as they wish, and they assassinate whomever they want to. And yet, the Israeli Knesset passed a law that defines the citizenship of Israel as exclusively Jewish, denying the non-Jewish inhabitants of Israel of equal rights under the law. What kind of democracy is that? And yet, Israel is the most powerful military between the Atlantic and the Urals. Its might is displayed in its ability to bomb adversaries in Syria willy-nilly, without them daring to raise a finger, as it were, in defense. Not to mention its previous military exploits in 1967 and the raids on Antibi and Tunis to the repeated onslaughts on Lebanon. More than 200 nuclear weapons are their so-called Armageddon deterrent. And yet, while waging wars on Hamas, Israeli governments are funneling Qatari financial support for what they say is a terrorist group. And yet, proffering friendship to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has not stopped the, Israeli, the successive Israeli governments from unleashing their political minions and their media hounds from all countries to denigrate and demonize Saudi Arabia. And yet, it is Israel that has occupied neighboring Arab lands, not the reverse. What the Arabs have waged since 2002 is the Arab Peace Initiative. I repeat, Peace Initiative, which all Israeli governments rejected at every turn. We heard from Minister Zayani that the initiative is the policy of all Arab countries including the ones who made peace with Israel. He also called on the Israeli government to build on the recent peace accords 
to achieve the comprehensive peace we all seek. The Arab Peace Initiative is also the policy of all of the 57 members of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. We heard on numerous occasions from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, that a Palestinian state with its capital in East Jerusalem and a fair solution for the Palestinian refugees is the only peaceful option for all of us. You cannot treat an open wound with palliatives and painkillers. The Abrahamic Accords are not divine writ. If they are based on geography, then there can be no Abrahamic Accords without the inclusion of the land of Abraham, Mecca al mukarram For that to happen, the Arab Peace Initiative must be implemented with regard to Palestine. So I call on the people of Israel to take the extended hand of peace and end this tragic charade. Only then can we together meet the other colonizing pretender that boasts about its control of four Arab capitals, Beirut, Damascus, Sana'a, and Baghdad. Thank you.